thank you for joining me. My name is David Kanamahia, and today I am back with the circular saw project for a redesign of our base plate component. I will be taking on the role of the designer for this part. What we have right now for our design is essentially just a flat metal plate. But what I want to do is really take advantage of all the different tools inside of the X sheet metal app in the 3D experience platform to maybe make some design changes, reduce some costs, and really streamline our design. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the X Sheet Metal app, which is a part of the 3D Sheet Metal Creator role inside of the 3D experience. We're gonna start off by opening up our circular saw project. Now this is the component that we are interested in. Right now, it's just a basic flat metal plate. I wanna add some features to this, as well as this angle bracket, I'm gonna to try to incorporate it into our base plate design. So first thing I'm going to do is hide the rest of the components that I'm not really interested in at the moment. And now to edit this base plate, I can simply double click on it to activate it. Now for this new base plate design, I can actually borrow existing geometry. So if I start a new sketch on this existing base plate, I can use the select other feature to select the edges of the existing face. Then I will convert this into sketch entities. Now these two holes over here on the right, I don't need them anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And now to actually turn this into some geometry, I can use my wall feature, specify my sheet metal parameters, my relief type, And then since I sketched this at the top, I'll make sure that I have the correct sketch orientation selected. Perfect. And now I can go ahead and hide the original base plate component. Now I have this lip at the front um, that I want to create a bend on. That will make it easier for the circular saw to kind of move across surfaces without getting caught on anything. So I'm actually going to start a sketch and draw a line where I want a bend to go. Just like that. And then I can go over to my sheet metal tools and choose the bend from flat feature. I'll select my sketch and a fixed point. And then I'll specify the line type. And finally, the angle that I want this bend to be. Make sure that's going in the correct direction, which it is. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And there we've added a bend to our design. Now we can also add uh, different features without having any sketch geometry. So I'm going to use this wall on edge tool to add walls all around this base plate. So I'll change my height to five millimeters, and then I'll just go through and select these other three edges of my base plate design. I'll change the measure by to specify how that five millimeters is being measured. And then I'll make sure that the material side is being applied correctly. I do want it to the outside, so I'll leave it like that. Now we need a relief for where this angle bracket is going to go in the flat pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch on this face. And I'll draw out a rectangle using existing geometry to make sure that this is kind of properly referenced and properly placed. I'll grab one of the edges from this existing angle bracket and snap it to my rectangle. And then I will just add two dimensions in here. Keeping in mind that if any of these dimensions are off, I can always go back in and make some changes to them. Then I'm going to use this rectangle for a cut feature. Select that profile and I'll leave it 
link to thickness. That way, if my thickness of the sheet metal ever changes, I always know that this cut is going to go all the way through. Make sure that it's applied to the correct side, and I'll click OK. Now we can start a sketch for our angle bracket that we're going to kind of incorporate into our base plate design. So I'll start a sketch on that face. And just like before, I'm going to borrow existing geometry using the select other feature and the convert entities. Now I'm going to simplify this design a little bit, make sure it goes all the way down by erasing these lines right here. And I will merge the two points that are left over. Now, even though this was sketched off plane, we can still use it to create a wall. So I'll go back to my wall on edge, except that this time we are going to choose the sketch option. I'll select my edge and select my profile. And then I also want to make sure that I have the correct material side applied. That way it's not interfering with any of the other components within my circular saw. Now, if I want different bend options than what I set at the beginning for my sheet metal properties, I can go into my bend options and overwrite it just for this feature. In this case, I want to choose round relief for both of these reliefs. And now we have integrated that wall bracket. I can go back and hide the original component since I'm done referencing it. Now at any point during the sheet metal design, I can always flatten my design. Now I'm noticing that there's some overlap right here. There's actually a tool to help us out with that. If I go to the check overlapping tool, I can flip between the fold and unfolded state. And I do see that there is some overlap right here. So I'm going to grab my measure tool and see just how much we're overlapping by. Looks like about 15 millimeters. So what I want to do is go back and edit that sketch for that cutout. I'll change that from 50 millimeters to 70 millimeters. And now we see that our parts are no longer overlapping. Now the last design change that I want to make to this, I do want to round over some of these sharp corners just out of safety to our clients that will be using this circular saw. So I'll grab my corner tool, change the radius to three millimeters and go back and select all of my edges. And the last thing I need to do is apply a material to this. So I'll select my component, go to the material browser. I'm going to search for an aluminum. And I will select the brushed aluminum. And there you see that that appearance gets applied to my part, which will look great once we actually render the entire circular saw project. You can see the completed flattened state. And now let me bring back the rest of the components so we can see what the final circular saw looks like. So as you can see, there are a lot of tools built in here into this X sheet metal app that gives us a lot of functionality to work with some of these sheet metal components and get the design that we want. Mm -hmm.